Good morning, folks. Quick ice on updates for those who don't watch Fly on the Wall. First, the comet is definitively still there, but about one magnitude of brightness fainter than anticipated. This conclusion is preliminary and the ice on data should start pouring in now that we have visibility. The Sumatra buoy kept deviating most of yesterday, but is taking a few hours off now. China coastline taking one tropical storm today, while another one gets ready to curl up and hit just south of Shanghai. Here's the Atlantic and Gulf development. Only immediate concern was the Gulf low, which is fading but still helping the deluge in the southeast. Anyone not sick of the same forecast here hasn't been here very long. Storms sticking south, but be still my beating heart, low pressure over the large island. That corkscrewing cloud system is moving about as slowly as predicted. Luckily, it is slated to head south and further east by early in the week. West coast on deck for precipitation at and just north of the border. Meanwhile, the southeast remains under flood threat, but the north central lows combine with an eastern high pressure to rip warm, moist air north and produce storms along that convergence and up into Canada. A multi-peaked M-class solar flare erupted from yesterday's delta spot. We caught the radio blackout from the radiation while it was in progress lasted for nearly 90 minutes. The flare was nowhere near the largest of this cycle, or even 2013, but the eruption is one of the most aesthetically impressive on the Earth-facing disk. There is no doubt that the majority of ejecta is going to miss Earth as confirmed by the endless spiral from NASA, although they show a complete miss here. That wouldn't be terrible given that the particles were detected well in excess of a thousand kilometers per second leaving the Sun. As Mercury enters the Lasco C3 from the top right here, you should see a true halo eruption, so I'll have to disagree with NASA's endless spiral and say a glancing blow is nearly certain. There aren't many kill shot concerns here, but if the speedier particles get this way, it could be a major storm. 1824 in the middle is growing, but our focus is left and right this morning. The delta spot has decayed since the M flare and continues to do so. The incoming regions keep showing signs of potential, but without delivering so far. Solar wind speed now coming back down under 600 km per second with maintained density. The geomagnetic disturbance is over for now. Primary connectivity to the sun is just north of that eruption we had, protons already rising ahead of the CME arrival. Meanwhile, 9 of 10 subconnectivity points are in the red northern coronal hole leaving the earth-facing position. The next one is transequatorial and basically on our doorstep. Combine this with the end to a drought in significant planetary geometry and our quake watch remains around a 7 or 8. We did have a volcano erupt on the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia yesterday. Top area of concern is the northern Pacific with a lot of Aleutian rumbling as well. Took a 6.1 in the South Indian Ocean yesterday. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.